guys, hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, I'm Misty and I go to local places on the island of Oahu and check out some awesome food made by local people and mom and pop places. Um, today we're here at Pearl Highland Center. If you don't know where that is, there's a Sam's Club on the bottom. We're at the top level at the food court. I will turn it around. It's over there. We're gonna walk over there. We've got some different businesses here too. Um, you got the theater, over there you got Guitar Center and Ross and stuff, so you can also go shopping. They've got a great food court, um, and I have done a Filipino spot in there that was also good, so go check it out. I'll put the link up below if you haven't seen that already. And let's go inside. It's called Ming's Canton. Go check it out. So this is the food court, and we're going to go inside. Hey guys, so I'm back from the car and I thought I was recording the whole thing and I didn't. So, like a dumbass, <laughs> I was uh, filming myself for almost like 10 minutes straight until I'm like, wait, I didn't press the record button or the light's not on. So, I can't go backwards, but I did take some B-roll. I got an empty bag of a crab rangoon. They call it a cream cheese crab puff here. You can get it by the single and thank God I to be roll but this is what it looks like it is crispy golden goodness if you like fried things you're gonna love it uh, they sell it by the single you can get four for cheaper and um, I used to always see it in the East Coast when I used to live there if you did Chinese takeout they had um, a whole bunch of these always in your meal and if you don't know what it is a crab rangoon usually just has cream cheese in it with a little bit of onion sometimes on the east coast they wouldn't even put crab in there but um, when I ate this one it had a little bit of um, imitation crab meat in there but if you like cream cheese and fried things and the crispness of the wonton almost like a crispy gouji you're gonna love this so definitely get some reminds me of the takeout Chinese food on the East Coast and it was wonderful. Um, inside is like soft and pillowy with that creaminess of the cream cheese so if you're looking for a different appetizer definitely get it. I'm not going to hold it up because it is leaking so I'm keeping it in the bag but I got uh, for the first dish is their cake noodle with chasu and roast pork. They have other ones if you don't eat meat. Um, but today's going to be pork o'clock, man. There's every dish is pork. So the cake noodle, um, is just chock full of meat and the gravy. You can get the gravy on the side. Um, just look at the glistening chasu. It looks amazing. So this is the chasu, pretty thick cuts. Super tender. It's not tough. It doesn't. You know, it's not dry, it's perfect. Perfect sweetness, not too sweet. It's easy to chew, kind of almost falls apart in your mouth. It's delicious. Here's the cake noodle. They give a pretty good amount. And if you don't know what cake noodle is, if you're not from Hawaii, it is um, kind of like a baked piece of lo mein or Chinese noodle. And it's baked till the outside's a little crispy but the inside soft. And when they put it on the bottom of the plate and pour the gravy on it, it soaks up all that gravy. So you get a little bit of crispness and the inside soft and soaks up all the gravy. It still has its crispness. It's not hard. Like some places you get cake noodle and it's so hard, it ruins the top roof of your mouth. This has a nice crispness to it, but it soaked up all the juice of the sauce. So it's good. The only thing I can say is the sauce, the gravy is very salty. So if you're not into high sodium, you might want to get the gravy on the side. They do ask you if you want it on the side and then you can control the gravy or just dip your noodle in there. I, for recording purposes, just told them to slather it on and they were really generous with it. So they put a lot of gravy. So I think that's why it's a little bit on the salty side, but I wouldn't say it's like inedible salty. It's just, um, if you're watching your sodium um, some people don't want that much salt. This is the roast pork. There's a whole big generous row of it. Nice fatty goodness. Some people don't like the fat, but this is Chinese roast pork and it's what makes it tender and moist and not dry. Again, I don't know how they pick their meats or how they cook them, but that was super tender, not tough. 
You can eat it in that one whole bite and it's not dry and it's not hard to eat. It's not chewy. It just kind of not melts in your mouth, but it's easy to eat and chew. They give you a whole row on the side of the pork cracklings or the skin. The best part, nice and crispy, delicious. And they're so generous with the meat and the noodles. You can definitely share this with two people. On the side, you got some choy sum or bok choy. I'm not sure what Chinese vegetable it is. Hmm, that's actually good. It cuts through the um, fattiness of the meat and the gravy. So it's a nice in-between palate cleanser. The roast pork is also, to be honest, kind of salty. Again, not like inedible salty. It's a little bit just on the higher end salted side or a little bit more seasoned. So I think what would be great is they do offer a three star plate. They call it the three star plate lunch. And it's got a whole row of the same roast pork, the delicious chasu. I think the chasu is like the star and um, roast duck or roast chicken. I'm not sure, but it's a poultry and uh, three rows of the meats under a bed of rice. So I think the rice would balance out the saltiness. If you're really into cake noodle, I would definitely suggest having the gravy on the side to control the seasoning. But overall, very good. I enjoyed it. And if you're wondering, why did you go here? I haven't been here for almost 20 years. I'm not sure if it's the same, but I believe it was here. I used to work at Pearl Highlands. It was my very one of my very first jobs. And um, just rarely for lunch, I would go upstairs and get lunch for lunch break. And I used to get their cake noodle, but I think I used to get their minute chicken one with oyster sauce. Um, so they do have different meats if you're not looking for char siu and roast pork. And um, I was going to ask for a takeout menu, but they never had any for the current prices. And you can't really see the menu from just standing there because the, the glass partition that protects the uh, food is kind of in the way. So I'm going to go... Um, to Yelp and see the most recent price for the um, roast pork with cha siu plate cake noodle. It is $14.59. It might've gone up a couple cents, but this is the most recent one, the price, and all the prices are kind of the same, maybe a few cents more if you're looking for the seafood cake noodle or something else, but they're all pretty much the same price around there if you're looking for cake noodle. Not the greatest presentation, but this is their uh, salt and pepper pork chop. And the reason I got it is a lot of people raved about it. And I wanted to try it and see what was great about it. Another thing people rave about, but I'm not in the salad mood, is their Chinese chicken salad. So if you're into Chinese chicken salads, go check it out and let me know how it is. So going back to the story about um, why did I come here, what reminded me of this place is somebody posted that cake noodle on um, Facebook. And I'm like, oh my God, that looks good. So I came back here wanting to try the roast pork and cha su uh, cake noodle. And if you're not in the Chinatown area or anywhere near uh, town, this is an option to go to and it's pretty fast and quick. You can either eat in the very nice, uh, you know, food court, it's very clean and air conditioned, or you can take it home and you don't have to go all the way to town. All right, if you're wondering what the salt and pepper pork chop is. It is a lightly dredged uh, pork chop in flour, and then they toss it in some minced garlic with shallots or green onions. And usually there's jalapenos or some kind of hot pepper, but here it looks like they put some chili pepper flakes. Um, they do have the bone in, but let's try it out. Hmm. The flour batter gives it a nice crunch and it soaks up all that garlic goodness. Definitely delicious porky goodness. And if you like fried things again or something that's crispy, you'll definitely like this. And if you could smell the smells coming out of here, like Walter said, he says he wish, wishes there was smell-o-vision this, this is definitely, you would wish there a smell of vision. It smells like, if you like garlic, you're gonna love this. And if you mix that garlic mixture with the rice, oh man, it's so good. Even though there's chili flakes in here, I don't think it's very spicy. It just has a really good garlicky, oniony flavor. 
So if you're into those kind of flavors, this is really good. I can see why people rave about this uh, salt and pepper pork chop. It's very good. I'm a big fan of salt and pepper shrimp. I believe they have it there too, but the pork chops and the Christmas crispness of the batter is so good. The only thing is some people might not like the bone pieces. And I did pop a couple in my mouth thinking that it was just purely meat, but there was a little bit of bone in there and it was kind of sharp. So just be careful. I think um, that's the only criticism I have for this. Um, it's kind of dangerous thinking it's a piece of meat with no bone. Like here, you wouldn't think there's a bone, but there actually is a little piece right here. So be careful when you pop it in your mouth um, and not to swallow that sharp piece of bone. The way they chop it, it's like chopped into small pieces of bone. So um, again, just be careful. Nobody needs to go to the hospital eating Chinese food, right? So with this plate, you get two big heaping scoops of white rice. You can substitute fried rice and um, I believe chow fun and other things for extra. But again, look at this massive meal of just tons of meat. You can't go wrong. Again, you could probably split this with two people if you're not a big eater. And it's, I think, a generous serving of delicious food. So the latest price I could find for the salt and pepper pork chops was $13.99. All their other, uh, most of their other plate lunches have minis, but this one you cannot get a mini for. But I think, you know, for the price, that's a lot of food and a lot of meat. Um, if you're looking for other minis, they do have roast duck on rice, garlic chicken on rice, lemon chicken, ham ha pork with ong choy, uh, cold ginger chicken, the roast pork with chasu and rice. They do have it in a mini. So all those have minis, roast pork with chicken if you don't want the chasu. So I think they have a lot of options if you're craving Chinese food and you're in a rush. Most of the things are pre-made, just like, um, I don't know what to compare it to for people that most people can see. I think Panda Express, bad example, but it's what everybody has around different states in the nation where it's, you know, right in front of you. It's not old or anything. It's just in a heating uh, contraption to keep it warm. And then they just scoop it for you, like the beef broccoli and stuff, and put it on your plate. So if you're in a rush, there's lots of parking here at Pearl Highlands. You can just run in, get your food and get out of there. Um, one side note to help you out, um, the cake noodle is not ready till 1030. I don't think people would go that early for cake noodle anyway, but they do open at 10. If you're looking for all the actual details, I always put it in the description box below. So go check it out. I put the address, the phone number, the website if they have a website, and the hours. Because some other people complain, but it's there. Okay? Um, so definitely check it out. It's in every video if you're looking for the address and other details. Um, I am glad I stumbled upon that Facebook post of the cake noodle because it reminded me of this place. I totally forgot about it. And I think it's a great option. Like I said, if you're not living in town and you're on the west side or centralized Pearl City, Mililani, um, and you're looking for cake noodle or other great dishes for a pretty reasonable price, come down to Ming's Canton in the Pearl Highlands food court. And if you're shopping, shopping at Sam's Club, come here first before you get your groceries and eat a nice lunch. So until next time, I'll see you on another food adventure. If you found this helpful and you like this, press the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again next week. Peace out and take care.